everyone my name is Isabel Melendez Rivera and today I am going to talk to you about this book called Going Clear by Lawrence Wright. This book is a total of 430 pages long and this is actually my first time reading this book. I am reading it for the first time for my MNZ 305 class um, and this is actually also my first time reading a book on immersive journalism or long-term journalism so i think it's a very very nice introduction for students who are interested in this type of journalism because it talks about the church of scientology and i feel like we all know something about the church of scientology it's very popular knowledge but i feel like a lot of people including myself i didn't know that the church has a very complicated and very um, interesting history in its relation with uh, journalism and with the press. The book is divided into three parts. The first part we learn about its founder, whose name was Lafayette Ronald Hubbard. And in this part of the book, we learn about accounts of his life, very disturbing accounts of his life, specifically in his predatory view of women and all his delusions of grand tour. He told a lot of stories of his military um, experience and about him being a wartime hero and being able to survive battle. But through historical accounts and through reporting, we know that a lot of what he told uh, was based on lies. And he's going to write a series of books, which later become script scriptures for the church. And he's going to write them on based on these stories that he told as well. And then in the second part of the book, we learn about the church after he dies. And then in the third part of the book, uh, which I found more interesting, we learn about how Bright is able to employ his journalistic approaches and how he's able to get his sources and information. So something very interesting that Bright um, explains to the reader is that when the church starts gaining attention because of its involvement of celebrities such as Tom Cruise and John Travolta, a few journalists also start um, being interested in the church and want to report on it and see what's going on because it's gaining a lot of power very, very uh, rapidly. So one of these uh, journalists, her name was Paulette Cooper. She writes a book in which she reveals that basically the stories that Hubbard had told about his military experience were all lies and the church has a very very negative and aggressive response to the publishing of that book. They tape her phone, they follow her, they sue her 19 times and in one occasion uh, Cooper was in her home when a man posing as a delivery man goes into her home and tries killing her but fails. After that, she moves to another location um, to try to be more safe. But her neighbors, all her 300 neighbors, received letters saying that she was a prostitute and that she liked molesting children. So what we see is that the church is trying to destroy her personal and her professional life because she did reporting on the church. Um, and then she was also charged with mailing bomb threats to the Church of Scientology and she was indicted for this. She falls into a very deep depression and she considers suicide. And after six of years, six years of all these events taking place, the FBI conducts a raid in one of the headquarters at Scientology and they find a file called Operation Freakout, which detailed how they were planning to uh, get Cooper incarcerated in a mental institution or in a jail. So what the, uh, what the author is trying to tell us here is that a lot of journalists suffered at the hands of Scientology. Um, they were harassed, they were investigated, they were sued or they were threatened in various ways. So in a way, he expresses a lot of gratitude for all the people that put their professional and their personal lives at risk in order to get information. And he says that this book is in a way a product of that collective effort. Um, and Cooper, uh, I'm sorry, Bright is actually never able to get an interview with an active member of Scientology um, because the church does not allow it. And the church actually disputes the testimonies of the hundred people he talked to in order to write um, this book. Something 
also very interesting about the church is that they had their own magazines, different types of magazines. Um, and in one, a point, one, his, one point in history of the church, um, they had a very heated dispute with the IRS over taxation. And um, they hired private investigators and agents to look into the lives of IRS officials to find scandals, drinking problems or cheating scandals. They wrote stories on what they found and they published them in their stories and they ha handed them out for free in their headquarters. Um, and they did this because the IRS knew that Scientologists had stolen documents from the IRS and they had wiretaped their buildings. So what we see is that this religion is gaining a lot of power and influence so that they can get away with things like this. But um, it is definitely a very heavy book, a very interesting book, and I think it, it's very good for any type of journalism student. Um, I would rate it a 9 out of 10 oranges. Thank you for your time.